Hey, Paul Huzinga here from LSX TV. We are at Belle Isle in Detroit, Michigan, and we're here for the 6th Gen Camaro unveiling. As you can see behind me, I am surrounded by a veritable sea of Camaros. These are all people who have brought their cars out here to help celebrate the unveiling of the 6th Gen. Weather's not so great, it's a little rainy, there's a 50% chance of thunderstorms today, but it doesn't seem to be dampening anybody's enthusiasm. Chevy did something pretty interesting with this introduction. Rather than doing it in an auto show or some other controlled environment like that, they basically invited a thousand Camaro fans to come out and see it for the first time along with the rest of the world. In addition to participating to what amounted to a giant Camaro-only car show, they also got a chance to drive the Belle Isle Grand Prix circuit despite the rain. Another popular activity on Saturday was a chance to sit in the right seat of the 2015 Z28 and take hot laps around the Belle Isle course with a professional driver behind the wheel. The next day after the public had left, we got a chance to get our first drives in the V6 model. Now this is a pretty intimidating course because there's no runoff, just concrete walls, and it's a very technical course as well. And I really did not want to wreck somebody else's car. In the short time that we got behind the wheel of the 2016, there wasn't really time to be aware of everything that was going on with the car. But there were some things that were notable by their absence. The first thing that I was surprised to realize wasn't an issue is visibility. You look at those side windows, you think the belt line is really high and you're going to have a problem seeing out of the car, but I really didn't notice it. The other thing that only occurred to me after the fact was how the car just basically disappears around you. There's no settling in, trying to get comfortable, it's just steering wheel, brake, throttle, clutch. It's confidence inspiring to have very crisp steering, very great uh, brake response. Even these cars are just being flogged, uh, basically doing hot laps here at Belle Isle. So overall, I think that uh, there's a lot of new performance to be unlocked with this car, and I'm really looking forward to my chance to get to drive the uh, 2016 2.0 liter turbo and also the V8 version. From what I've seen here today, I think this car is really going to be a winner.